Hello, I'm Dave. Welcome to my Technical Notes channel. Hello, everyone. I'm going to go through the use of Arduino classes and objects to help you improve your program readability. Rather than go straight into class definitions, what I want to do in my particular application here is control an LED. Uh, using my own function. So I'd like to use LED.on. So LED is the class. And the function is on or off. And I want to control a particular GPIO pin. Well, in this instance, I'll use the LED built in command or function. Notice it goes green because it's already predefined. Um, some boards are predefined, some are not. Uh, you could put in there. 5 or 13 or 14 or whatever your board G, uh, LED pin is. So the function is now defined. Uh, I want to wait one second and then I want to switch it off. So uh, there's my other command requirement and similarly delay for one second. So switch the LED on, switch the LED off. Very readable form of the uh, of the program. So just a reminder, LED is the class and off and on are the functions. OK, now let's start creating a class. So we use the command class and I'll call it LED controls. And because I want LED controls to be available to all functions and all of my sketch. I need to make it public. And the first thing I need to do is define or set up the GPIO pin that's going to be used for flashing the LED. And so I'll create a function. It's not going to return anything, so it's void. It's not going to return a integer or a string and I'm going to call it begin and I'm going to use a byte because there was only a few GPIO pins and I'll call that variable GPIO pin and so the first function here is the pin mode to set it up for input output it's on GPIO pin and I want it to be an output so now I can add in my setup LED dot begin and I want to begin on the LED built in pin. I'll quickly use the auto format to make sure everything's neatly formatted for me. And now I want to add in the on and off controls. So void on a byte 0 to 255 range and I'm going to call it again the GPIO pin to be controlled and this time the function is digital write GPIO pin and I want that to be high when I call this function and similarly for off same setup, this time digital write, GPIO pin, low. OK, now I'll try and uh, compile and upload the program. Small error there, capital P for pin, typographical error, normal part of debugging a code. And the first thing it, the compiler stops says it, it doesn't know what LED is, it wasn't defined. What I need to do now is add in my class and object definitions. So a class is a serial 
or wire or BME 280. So it's always in the format of serial.begin or wire.begin. So LED controls is the class name. And I'm going to call the object LED. Now I'll try and upload. And now you can see the LED flashing. So that's worked. We've defined a class and we've created some commands called LED on and LED off. So it makes for a very compact and readable sketch. In fact, you could create your own uh, what's called meta language by defining classes. Now, I think I'd like to expand my class by adding a flash command. Same GPIO pin definition. And the speed of flashing I'll call speed. Oh, that's already predefined. So I'll call that flash speed. And how many times do I want the LED to be flashed? I'll say in the number of flashes. And so I need to now loop, create a loop. So I can call the, the loop counter anything I like, flash or F. I'll just use the letter F. It doesn't matter what you use. You could use a variable called number of times to repeat. But F equals zero. It starts from zero. And while F is less than flashes, increment F. You can go F plus plus for the same command there. And now I'm going to use one of my predefined commands here. I'm going to use on LED command on. Notice that you don't prefix with the class name within the class. Switch the LED on. Wait for flash speed. and correct spelling and then off GPIO pin delay again and there that that command is now finished. Uh, so we can flash the GPIO pin at a given rate determined by the variable called flash speed or the parameter called flash speed. And we can make it flash for a number of times as defined by the parameter flashes. And so now I can turn the LED off, turn it on, turn it off and go LED flash, LED built in. I'll wait 100 milliseconds between flashes and do that 10 times, please. Compile and upload. And there you see the board flashing accordingly. So that was an example of using classes and objects. I think it's fairly straightforward, easy to use, improves your code readability. So there's one thing extra we can do, and that is we can create a class file, and I'll call this classes.h. OK new tab created and now I'm going to cut out all of the class definitions go to classes tab and paste that in there go back here and now we can 
include it as if we just typed it. Quotes, classes, dot h, and then I'll for completeness compile and upload to show you that it's exactly the same result, but obviously much shorter. And we can include that class object in other sketches we may be uh, creating. Hope you found that useful. A very brief insight into classes and objects. I hope you found this technical note interesting and useful.